Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you what object-oriented programming in it is and how you can use it in Roblox. So object-oriented programming is a type of programming based on objects, which are sort of like classes if you've used any other programming languages that use classes. And these objects can contain properties such as strings or functions, which are called methods, such as like something like this, like do something, this will do something. So each object can be accessed from an external script. So most of the time in Roblox, you'll be using just like a regular script. And these scripts can access what this object may have. And so this right here, this is already very useful because instead of making a bunch of scripts that all have the same function, you can all refer to the a single object that has that function so that other scripts, if they make changes, you just make the change to the central object, which makes it a lot more organized and easier to change code because you don't want to be copy and pasting the same things over and over because that's not very efficient. What you can also do with objects is use inheritance and this saves a lot of time when making your code. And this sort of follows, follows that same idea of copying and pasting where if a child object inherits another object, it takes all of its properties and functions that it specifies and gives it to the child. So this child object has access to both this string and this function. We can also assign other values such as this integer right here. And most of these child objects are new instances of the parent object. So they're just another version and they're completely independent. They don't change or edit the parent object unless they need to. And so when you're programming, you can use objects in either of these ways, both the inheritance route where one child inherits all of the properties and functions of the parent, or where a script utilizes the functions and the properties in this object in order to save space and save time so you don't have multiple copies of a single function because if you want to change one of those it'll be very tedious and this is very useful in roblox some examples are things like enemies because you would have one base class called enemies and maybe a child like a zombie or a like skeleton And this is also useful with this kind of route where you have an object with a bunch of scripts. If you have maybe an object called a cannon and you assign all of the functions of this cannon to a bunch of cannon objects throughout your area or your map. So you could have like a part here, part here, part here, and they could all use the same functions. Because before I knew what this was, I had something exactly like this with the cannons, and I put a script inside of each one of these cannons. And if I wanted to change something about the behavior of the cannons, I would have to delete every script inside of the cannons except for one, change that one script, and then redistribute it back out, which took a very long time and was very tedious. So using this way is a lot better. And actually in Roblox, these sorts of main scripts are just called scripts, but when you want to use object-oriented programming, you use module scripts. So something like this, this would probably be a module script. And instead of classes, Roblox uses tables. So I already have a video about tables, and in the next video, I'll show you what meta tables are, which are the tables that are used in object-oriented programming 
in Roblox. And so each module script has a table, so that's why you can use an object-oriented program. So overall, this is a very, very useful feature. This is the beginning of a series where I'll go in-depth about each part of object-oriented programming in Roblox using Lua and using meta tables. So next video, I'll talk about how basic meta tables can be used. And then after that, I'll start diving into module scripts with their tables and how module scripts can be used with meta tables as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next object-oriented programming video in Roblox. Goodbye.